Hi, I'm Donald Sinclair. I'm a science and maths tutor with Great Learning Tutors. Today we're going to be looking at how to teach various topics. When teaching multiplication, it's always a good idea to tie it into the idea of addition, which the child should already be familiar with. Start off by saying that the time symbol simply means this many lots of. So 4 times 5 means 4 lots of 5. And it can also be written as this. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Which the child should be able to add together and come together to give 20. And so 4 times 5 equals 20. Then you can ask things like, what happens if you multiply a number by 1? Well, if you multiply a number by 1, that just means 1 lot of 7. So if you multiply a number by 1, it stays the same. Finally, what is a number times 0? Well, times 0 means 0 lots of 8, which means it's just 0. So multiplying a number by 0 is always equal to 0. Still, the best way to learn multiplication sums is to learn the times tables. They can be learned off by heart, but for some of them you can teach simple tricks to remember the rest of them. For example, the two times table is very simple, but you can remember it as just by counting and missing out every other number. So starting at zero, you go missing the one, you go to two, missing the three, you go to four, missing the five, you go to six. So that way it can be tidy the counting and learned very quickly. For the five times table, you can teach that every number in the five times table will end with either a zero or a five as they go up in fives. And finally, the nine times table, which a lot of people have problems with. But there are two things to bear in mind with it. One, any number in the nine times table, the two digits will always add up to nine. It can also be learned with a simple trick on the fingers. If you hold up all ten fingers, to find, for example, three times nine, counting from left to right, I'll do it from this side so it can be seen more clearly, if you lower the third finger, then three times nine is going to be twenty, seven. This can be done all the way up to nine times ten and can be a very quick way to find out the value of the nine times table you're looking for. So these are some examples and some tricks to help learn multiplication.